Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with ESNE, and in this video segment, we will review what is IOLink and Rockwell's IOLink Masters. Before we jump into our content, ESNE offers online training through YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for how to applications and other automation content. IOLINK is a worldwide open standard communication protocol that works point to point. A point to point communication connection is specified as a connection between two separate endpoints or nodes. IOLINK is a bi directional protocol, meaning it can both send and receive information, but it is limited to short distances. The end device communications are established via a standard three wire cable that is no more than 20 meters long. IOLINK utilizes a robust 24 volt DC serial communication system that transmits at three potential rates. The IOLINK masters are capable of processing all three rates and they are also capable of processing digital signals and analog values. IOLINK is primarily used to communicate with sensors and actuators in an automation system. The sensors and actuators do not directly communicate with the common industrial protocol or SIP networks, but instead communicate with the IOLINK master. The IOLINK master establishes the connection between the IOLINK end device and the Ethernet IP automation system with a PAC or PLC. With all communications, Transmission errors can occur for a number of reasons, such as a cable fault or a power surge that can temporarily interfere with transmissions. If an error is detected, the message attempts transmission up to an additional two times, and only after the transmission has failed for a third time does the IOLINK master recognize the communication failure. Upon recognizing this, the IOLINK master will signal the communication failure to the high level controller. This can then alert operators or maintenance staff of the issue so they can physically attend to and correct the issue. IOLINK devices have four types of transmission, process data, value status, device data, and events. The process data is the latest state of the sensor or actuator, such as the speed. Process data is transmitted cyclically which means it is sent automatically at a regularly defined interval, which is defined by the PLC. The value status indicates whether the process data is valid or invalid and is transmitted with the process data cyclically. The device data holds detailed information about a device, such as a serial number or revision. It also holds more advanced information such as device parameters or diagnostic information. Device data is sent acyclically at the request of the IOLINK master. Events are triggered by the device and are sent to the IOLINK master as an error or warning message. Rockwell has two options for IOLINK masters. The first option is the point IO card that needs to be installed in the control cabinet and connects four IOLINK devices. The second option is the armor block remote I.O. block that is mounted directly in the field and can handle up to eight I.O. link devices. The armor block only has four ports, but when used in conjunction with a splitter, it can accommodate eight I.O. link devices. In addition to the masters, the armor block remote I.O. line also has I.O. link hubs, which allow you to add additional I.O. on the I.O. link network for an easy and cost-effective expansion of I.O. The I.O. Link hub connects to the master via I.O. Link and supports 16 digital signals per hub. Rockwell's I.O. Link solution allows for premier integration, starting with programming all done inside Studio 5000 software. Within Studio 5000, you can easily set up an I.O. Link master using its add-on profile or AOP. The AOP will allow you to configure and establish the connection with the master device. Rockwell I.O. Link masters can be configured in one of five different modes. The first mode is the I.O. Link mode, which means that the port is used for IO link communications. The second mode is DI, which means the port acts the same as a standard digital input device. 
The third mode is DO, which means that the port acts the same as a standard digital output device. The fourth mode is disabled, which means the port is not assigned to any mode. The fifth and newest mode is called fallback. Fallback mode is a new feature released by Rockwell that allows the IO-Link master to configure an IO-Link device, then instructs the device to behave like a standard digital input. This allows for increased response time on digital inputs while still having the ease of replacement IO-Link provides. Rockwell IO-Link masters improve upon the IO-Link data storage by adding automatic device configuration. A standard IO-Link feature is the ability for any IO-Link master to store the N device embedded IO device description or IODD file. Rockwell adds to that by allowing ADC of the master as well as the Rockwell or Encompass partner devices to be set up via ADC from the PLC. This functionality will allow you to plug in a new Rockwell IO-Link master and IO-Link device into a PLC. Then the PLC will automatically set up the configuration for the master and then the device without any software or human intervention. This is an incredible time saver and great added bonus to reduce downtime. Along with ADC, Rockwell has add-on instructions, or AOIs, created for most of Rockwell sensors or Encompass partner sensors. The AOIs allow for easy tag name creation to map data from the IODD files and allows the PLC to correlate with devices whenever the values do not match an offline file and the programmer is going online. However, parameters will not correlate, only live values from the process data will. So you will be notified if a parameter change was made to an IO Link master. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.